did you start off with web pages? I'll start off mine. Mine isn't nearly as complicated as yours. Uh, this is what I use as my standard web page for my classes, uh, where you have all the links and everything too, and you got to keep all those updated. I like to try and just keep it simple and keep it all on one page. So there's no links off of the page. Uh, Please start later, please. <laughs> okay, thanks. One of the things I do is I love the ninth graders when they tell their parents they had no clue when the assignments were, or I didn't know that. So one thing I do is I put up all the assignments here, the dates the assignments are going to be due or we're doing, and the date I assigned it. So when a parent calls and tells me, well, they just told me they just found out about it, and I go to my website, no, I signed this on the 19th of November, which was about a month ago, and they should have pre-planned for it. Then what I do is I go down through here, and I give an overview of what I did in class every day. And it's just a simple management of putting it in there. And it's not a real big blurb. The date, what we do, this is a whole year's worth of stuff. And then over here on this side, questions for the parents to ask their kids. And I tell them, you may not be an expert on the subject that I'm teaching, but you are an expert on your kid and you know when they're lying to you. And you can, if their answers aren't adequate enough for you, then they need to come see me during our activity periods or you can email me and I'll give you the answers to the questions and then you can go back and help them out with that. But that's my website. And I run this new every year, starting new and everything. Then we get down into here, which is break down the grading, weighting, syllabus, what's going on in class. I give them all the quizzes and tests for the entire year, for the entire semester, and then the addresses and stuff to get a hold of me from, okay?